Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I hope you were able to go to Ash Wednesday Mass. It was well attended. Uh, I hope that the homily was helpful to get you thinking about the big question, what are you doing for Lent? And I mentioned in the homily that I hope that it would be something that would show unconditional love. And that would be unconditional love to God, to your neighbor, to yourself, right? Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, that's those three. Prayer, your connection with God. Fasting for yourself so you will not be a slave to our, or your own or my own uh, desires or desires of the flesh. That we have self-control. And then almsgiving, that's to other people. So I'm not sure what you've decided, but I thought I'd share something that I'm going to do or I'm starting to do. And they're kind of multifaceted. So the first one is I normally get up very early in the morning and I've created a habit where I've been going to bed a little later than I should be. I used to be, and I really still am, a closet late night owl person. If I can stay up later, I will. And that's a, honestly, that's a situation where having worked during the course of the day and sometimes into the evenings for uh, ministry, I come home and I need to kind of just relax. And sometimes that goes into the later parts of the night. And I need not be going to bed that late because I get up early in the morning to do my prayer and other things that I do, uh, take the dog out, eat breakfast, etc. So one of my things is then to make sure that I go to bed early. That is earlier than I've been doing. Why and how is that the case and why would I do that? Not just because uh, I need to get up early, though that is, it's because when I do go to bed or go to bed late, I am not my best version of myself when I'm doing ministry during the day that follows. So I need to do something about that in a simple way, though hard, because again, I. I prefer to kind of relax, and sometimes that can bleed into later times of the night. Not to go to bed at 11 p.m., or even sometimes even later, but rather go to bed at 10 or earlier, maybe even 9.30, so that I can get up and do all the things I do for my morning routine, and then be more awake and, and refreshed for the day. Have you ever been tired during the day because you were up too late? I think we all have. But that's something I need to make sure I curb. And that's not just for myself. That is for others. You can say I'm going to fast, that is reduce this late night stuff. Now I've been pretty good about it, but recently I would say no. So this is something I need to refocus myself on so that I can help, well, you and be at mass and be more cognitive of your presence and presence. You know, because 80% of ministry, this is a secret, 80% of ministry is just being there. It's called presence ministry. And if I'm not fully present, I'm not doing my job. I'm not doing the calling that I've been given by God to show you my attention and my love and my care. And I might be snappier if I'm tired, etc. So that's my gig. So that's one of them. The other one, and pardon if I sound like an advertisement, but uh, the Hello app you may be familiar with is doing a 40 days of prayer. And that's perfect. I'm going to augment my my morning prayer with that as well. Still keep the same amount of time that I'd use, but that 20 minutes or ish uh, time frame with the Hello app, I've already found in the first two days to be very helpful, wonderful. So I just put my headphones on and play it and reflect. And I love the book that they're going through. And I right now can't remember the name of the priest. I'll probably show the picture up here on my uh, my right, your uh, number, your left. But I'm looking forward to hearing what this priest went through so that I can continue to surrender myself to the Lord. So that's my prayer. And you could say the fasting is going down or is the going down from um, late night work or late night uh, relaxing. And, and no, by the, by the way, fasting and abstinence are different things. Fasting is a reduction of something. Abstinence is the removal of something. So I'm fasting from late nights and going to go to bed earlier. In fact, here's what I'm really going to do to make that happen. Because I need to set myself up for success to do this. And I used to do this previously. I have a kind of a smart home system that I use HomeKit for. And I can actually talk to some of the lights in my, my house. I can say, hey, and blah, blah, blah. Do something about the lights and they'll turn on or off. And I can create automations. So like if I want to go to bed at 10 o'clock, I can have the several lights go off at 9.30. So it's darker. And then finally at 10 
they go off. Or even before that, so I can get ready, like at 9.45, they go off so that I'm in bed at 10. You know, I had just said, guess what? I just tried to respond. I don't know if you caught that. Probably not. Got to be careful. So it's prayer, that's fasting, and almsgiving is giving to you, giving to the people, so that going to bed early allows me to give. It's not money per se. I, can, I do give to the church, and I do that regularly. I hope that you're doing the same. I have it on uh, the automatic withdrawal so that I know whether I'm on vacation or not. That happens. But I'm going to give my time in a more quality way so that I'm more present to all of you. And, and in the staff especially, the people I'm with most currently and during the day. So think about what you're going to do. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Maybe you can combine all three of those things in one event, but maybe you're going to decide to do them differently. It's not always about removing something. Sometimes it's giving something more. And I'm kind of doing that. I'm going to try to do that by removing some uptime for you know relaxing in the evening, going to bed earlier, so that I can be more present to you and to others. Well, I hope you have a great this first weekend of Lent, and we're going to go through this together. I hope to hear from your comments. Maybe if you see this on Facebook, write down your thoughts. What are you going to do for Lent? What's your practice that you're going to do? Are you going to give up something? Are you going to add something? What's the, what is it about prayer, fasting, and almsgiving that you're thinking of doing? I'm doing what I just shared with you. I encourage you to think about that, especially that Hallow app. There's a lot of good things in there. And uh, especially I want to encourage us, in that Hallow app is the Surrender Novena. And it's done beautifully. If you're not sure what, I, what I'm talking about, I'll um, give you, a, hopefully up here, a little a card that you can click to another Friday reflection where I give my testimony about my mother and my family and the Surrender Novena. Have a great weekend. Deacon Brett is preaching this weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.